Now, the downside of Phonak versus all other manufacturers is that Phonak don't allow you to toggle this feature on and off, whereas you can with all the others. Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. Today, I have a massive review covering every little detail of the new Phonak Audeo Lumity hearing aids, which Phonak are boasting are their flagship product for better understanding of speech in background noise. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel hit that grey notifications bell and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. You'll always notice that I am a little slow off the mark with my review videos and that's because I want to have had enough time not only to have experienced any hearing aids for myself in the clinic but also get a hefty amount of feedback from my patients so that I can give you as much accurate information as possible when it comes to how these hearing aids function and not just all of the wonderful things that the manufacturers are saying. Yes, this is a mammoth video for you to watch today, but by the end of it, you should know everything that there is to know about the new Lumity family of hearing aids. Today's video actually begins in the summer of 2020 when Phonak first launched their Paradise hearing aids, which were a welcome leap in terms of hearing aid technology. They gradually added to their portfolio with the various styles from the standard Ordeo receiver and canal hearing aids, the Naida behind the ear hearing aids, their Verto in the ear hearing aids, and then more recently, we saw the addition of the Ordeo Life Waterproof Hearing Aid and finally the Ordeo Fit, Phonak's health monitoring hearing aid. We were also promised at the time the Ordeo Slim and then for reasons that Phonak haven't told us, that launch was held back. If you ask me, I think that it was just too close to the launch of Lumity and they didn't want to release new technology on an old platform. So my prediction is that we'll see this out soon, but with all of the Lumity features instead of those of Paradise. I do have to say that it was a big surprise to see a new hearing aid released so soon after the last model in the Paradise family was released. I think that with the abundance of tech coming from other manufacturers and the fact that the original Phonak Paradise was released over two years ago now, Phonak felt the need to refresh their portfolio and have something out there to rival their competition. I'm going to kick off today's review by taking you on a tour of the physical attributes to these hearing aids and then we'll take a good old look at what's underneath the hood. Looking at the previous Ordeo Paradise rechargeable hearing aid alongside the new Ordeo Lumity R, you can see that they don't look too dissimilar in shape and size, really with just a subtle difference in the push button on the back of the hearing aid. It's a little sharper on each end, meaning that it should be a little easier to find when reaching behind your ear to press it. The LED in the center of that push button also has changed shape. The forwards facing microphones are a little bit wider, meaning that they're a little bit less likely to get blocked up with hair products and dead skin compared to their predecessors. Size wise, both of these hearing aids are pretty much on par with each other, with the rear of the Lumity being a little bit more boxy compared to the smooth Paradise hearing aid. When they're inserted into my ear, this is how they look with a thin receiver wire coming around the front, the dome on the end and the hearing aid itself sitting neatly behind my ear. There are three different models available which span each technology level. The Ordeo Lumity R, which is rechargeable, Ordeo Lumity RT, which is rechargeable with the telecoil, and finally the Ordeo Lumity RL, which is rechargeable and their life version, which is their waterproof hearing aid. If cosmetics is super important to you, then the smallest will be the Lumity R, and as a result, I imagine will be the most popular of the three models. You'll also notice that this is the first portfolio of hearing aids that Phonak have ever released, which are solely rechargeable, with no disposable battery version whatsoever. There's also no sign of any disposable battery option being released in the future. I did mention this in my launch video that there would be a disposable battery version in the pipeline. However, my sources have now rescinded their original statement and advised me that the Lumity will not be available with a battery version at any point in the near future. So if you're interested in the most up-to-date disposable battery hearing aid from Phonak, unfortunately, it will have to be from the Paradise family. Along with the new models of hearing aids, there are also three different chargers available. One for the Lumity R and RT, and a separate one for the Lumity Life, which is available both with and without a built-in power bank, which will give an additional three days of battery life without the need to be connected to a power source. The newest charger introduced to the Lumity family is the Charger Ease, which is Ease by name and Ease by nature. It is definitely easier to drop in and remove your hearing aids versus Phonak's previous chargers. The Ordeo Lumity comes in four different technology levels, 
essential, standard, advanced, and premium. With an increase in the number of features and automation that you have, the more advanced the hearing aid. They also come in a range of colors, which similarly to other hearing aid manufacturers, Phonak produce their hearing aids to match different hair colors rather than just being skin toned. Your audiologist should have a chart of colors to help you to be able to choose the right color for you. They're mainly matted nowadays, so they don't tend to catch the light. And the most popular color that patients tend to choose in my practice is the champagne color that you can see here. You can also check out the Phonak color configurator online to see which is likely to be the most suitable for you. As far as the suitability of these hearing aid goes, these images show the fitting ranges for the Ordeo Lumity hearing aids. So, whether you have a mild, moderate, severe or profound hearing loss, the hearing aids can be ordered to suit and can be coupled to your ears using a range of different generic rubber tips, custom tips or even the Phonak Active Vent, which I'll cover later on in a lot more detail. They still use the same wax guards as the Phonak Paradise range, the Serashields, Shields, which need to be changed roughly once every four to six weeks. For me, it was a huge mistake a couple of generations back when Phonak changed from the Serastops, stops, as I've had a lot of patients struggling to both turn the dial on the container to actually access the wax guards and also replace the things. So if there's anybody out there from Phonak listening, please look into redesigning these filters. So that's the physical attributes covered. Let's take a good old look at what's under the hood with these Lumity hearing aids now. Lumity is built on the same prism chip that the Phonak Paradise range was built on. From your perspective, that means that it has some of the same great features of the Paradise range, which set the foundations for these hearing aids with some new additional features, which I'll cover in this section of the video. Kicking off the feature list, I'll start with Bluetooth connectivity. Phonak were the first manufacturer to release made-for-all Bluetooth technology, meaning that as their hearing aids use classic Bluetooth, the hearing aids can be paired with any phone that has Bluetooth built into it. So not just smartphones on Android or iOS, like all other hearing aid manufacturers. The Phonak Lumity allows for eight pairings with Bluetooth devices, with two of them being able to be paired simultaneously. What that means from your perspective is that if you're connected to both your cell phone and your iPad at the same time, for example, if you want to take a phone call, you can then switch over without having to disconnect and reconnect the Bluetooth on either of them. If you're thinking, why do I even need Bluetooth in my hearing aids? It's a great question to ask, and it's the foundation of all hearing aids now. I've made a video covering this exact question, which I'll link in the description to today's video. But in summary, it means that you can stream phone calls, music, and the radio or podcasts directly to both of your ears. There's even an app out there now which allows you to make manual adjustments to the settings on your hearing aids if you want to manually override the automatic settings. Phonak and Unitron were also the original manufacturers to enable completely hands-free calling on their hearing aids, meaning that as the phone is streaming sound directly from your phone to your hearing aids, the microphones on your hearing aids are also activated to pick up the sound of your own voice. So you can keep your phone in your pocket and the person on the other end of the phone should still be able to hear you speak. Due to an iOS update earlier in 2022, this was also enabled for other hearing aid manufacturers too. However, this only works with Apple devices. So if you're an Android user, Phonak and Unitron are still your only option for hands-free calling. Now, I'm afraid it isn't all great with this feature. Whilst it sounds fantastic in theory, I have had patients report that this bi-directional Bluetooth isn't the most selective at picking up the hearing aid user's voice. And some patients are reporting that there are issues with those microphones picking up a lot of the sound around the hearing aid user. So sometimes if phone calls are taken in particularly noisy environments, it won't cause challenges for the hearing aid user to hear, but it does cause problems for the person on the other end of the phone to hear them speaking. Now the downside of Phonak versus all other manufacturers is that Phonak don't allow you to toggle this feature on and off, whereas you can with all the others. Phonak call their automatic adaptive setting in their hearing aids AutoSense, and in the Lumity family, we're now on AutoSense 5.0, which has been updated from the AutoSense version 4.0 that was built into the Paradise family. AutoSense is Phonak's artificial intelligence machine learning feature that scans your environment 700 times per second, yep, 700 times per second, and then calculates the most appropriate setting for your hearing aid to switch over to. It chooses between the following different settings which can also be individually optimized by your audiologist. Once the environment is recognized by the hearing aids, they then choose from over 200 different setting combinations, 
in order to optimize the settings in that particular situation. Phonak are boasting that in this new AutoSense, they have developed two key improvements. Firstly, in background noise, and secondly, with speech understanding. Their Winblock setting is also now available across all technology levels, unlike the Paradise family, and their speech and loud noise setting automatically activates at a lower level, contributing to these hearing aids, providing you with improved hearing in background noise. If you don't like the idea of sticking with an automatic setting, you don't have to. It's also possible for you and your audiologist to work together and add manual settings, which you can switch over to using the button on the back of the hearing aid or via the app, which I'll come on to later on in this video. Not only that, but if you really want to, you can even make and save your own programs to come back to whenever you like via the app. Stereo Zoom is Phonak's directional microphone technology. This is a feature that Phonak have had in their hearing aids for almost 10 years now, since their Quest platform, which has really remained unchanged for all of this time. In simple terms, this feature is designed to focus the microphones on your hearing aids forwards when you're in a noisy place, such as a restaurant or a bar, with the hope that you want to hear whatever you're looking at. So the big question is, what does that mean in practice? With the original stereo zoom, the directional beamformer was either on or off. However, now it adapts to the noise around, so the noisier the background, the more focused the microphones are, giving it a slower and more gradual and smoother activation into that narrow focusing point. Phonak state that it now performs in such a way that it will give optimum strength of stereo zoom based on the sound environment, sounding far more natural than its predecessor. The advantage of this is that it should keep a greater awareness of the environmental sounds as well as the person in front of you speaking when the noise levels are a little bit lower. And then as the noise levels increase, there's a gradual focus on the person in front and hopefully it removes that blocked off, trapped in a bubble type feeling when in a noisy environment. This should give a better signal to noise ratio by up to two and a half decibels, resulting in 16% better speech understanding compared to fixed directional settings and previous versions of stereo zoom. Plus you also have a manual override option in the updated MyPhoneAC app. The all new speech sensor feature is a 360 degree speech detection algorithm, allowing you to hear more conversations from left, right, or behind. Phonak state that 80% of conversations generally come from in front of us on a day-to-day -day basis, with the other 20% coming from the other directions. The downside of older microphone technologies is that they're designed to focus so aggressively towards the front that it can cut out the other 20%. The speech sensor feature is designed to identify those conversations happening close by from directions other than in front and open up the beamformer in a noisy environment to a more omnidirectional setting. This should allow you to pick up speech without necessarily needing to turn your head and face the person speaking. Phonak's research shows that this results in a 3.4 decibel better signal to noise ratio and a 15% better speech understanding when a hearing aid user has somebody speaking from the side. Dynamic noise cancellation is a spatial noise cancellation feature that works in combination with Stereo Zoom 2.0 to improve the signal to noise ratio in challenging environments. In English, this is another component of Phonak's noise reduction system aiming to improve your hearing in background noise. Did you know that Phonak's rechargeable hearing aids have motion sensors built into them? Yep, you heard me correctly, motion sensors. And the main function of them isn't for tracking your steps, although that is a feature, but it's actually for improved hearing when you're moving or stationary. Let me talk you through exactly how this clever technology works. So you may be sat there right now thinking, why on earth would my hearing aids need to know if I'm moving or not? And it's a good question to ask. This is all to do with their auto sense setting, calculating which direction you most likely want to be hearing from. With the motion sensor hearing feature, the hearing aids can detect when you're moving and simultaneously having a conversation. And they will automatically adjust the direction of microphones to focus on the direction of speech. So if you think about it logically, normally if we're sat down at a restaurant, we want to hear the person speaking in front of us and perhaps a little to the side too. However, as soon as we stand up and start walking, normally we would want to be able to hear the people to the side of us rather than the people in front, unless you've got somebody walking backwards in front of you. The motion sensors help the hearing aids to recognize this. The speech enhancer feature aims to significantly reduce listening effort, particularly when people are speaking to you from a distance. It does so by enhancing the softer sounds and bringing them into your audible range when in a quiet environment. For example, if somebody says something on the side quickly and quietly, 
This feature aims to give you that little extra boost by another 10 decibels to bring it within your audible range. APD 2.0 is Phonak's new and improved fitting formula, which I'm pleased to say is closer to the traditional NAL NL2 that really is the gold standard in terms of targets that we as audiologists need to match during real ear measurements. This is all part of the tailoring process when you actually get your hearing aids. Sadly, there are still a lot of audiologists out there that don't perform real ear measurements and just fit the hearing aids out of the box, which I would not recommend, by the way. But at least this improvement in APD 2.0 ensures that those hearing aid users will have a slightly better chance of improved hearing. Phonak's tap control feature is installed in their two top technology levels. That's the L90 and L70. The tap control is a way of interacting with your hearing aids without having to remove your phone from your pocket or press the buttons on the back of your hearing aids. In practice, with a double tap of your ear, you can play or pause music, end or accept phone calls, or even start your voice assistant, meaning that you can ask Siri or Google Assist to make a phone call or ask them to do things like tell you what the weather's going to be like for today. In reality, however, I've had to switch tap assistant off for most of my patients, as it can sometimes be a little bit sensitive and the voice assistant can start up when the hearing aids are being inserted. To combat this, Phonak have now enabled you, the hearing aid user, to be able to change the sensitivity of the tap control in the app, which some of my patients have found very useful. As a whole, this works great in combination with the MyPhonak app as it removes the challenges that come with fiddling with hard to press buttons on the back of hearing aids to adjust your settings. Each hearing aid manufacturer has its own app for their Bluetooth compatible hearing aids, which is worth a video in itself just covering the app's functions. The MyPhonak app was updated in the summer of 2022 and definitely came with its issues. Phonak have since updated it again based on your feedback, which delights me no end, as it means that they do listen to hearing aid users and audiologists like myself when we complain about these things. So if you have any feedback for me on your Phonak hearing aids that you want to get back to Phonak, then let me know in the comments beneath this video and I'll report it back to them directly. The MyPhonak app is available on both iOS and Android devices and allows you to manually adjust the settings on your hearing aids, such as either the volume or different programs. Not only that, but it also allows you to adjust some of the more finer details on your hearing aids too, such as adjusting the bass, mid-tones and treble, changing the noise reduction settings and the directionality on the hearing aids as well to make them more or less focused on what's in front of you. As I mentioned earlier, if you make these adjustments and you like what you've done, you can even save your own customized program and come back to that whenever you find it useful. This is a great tool and gives you more independence if you wish to manually make changes to the settings on your hearing aids. If, however, you're not one for making changes, then don't worry at all. The hearing aids are still designed to be fully automatic and adapt to the environment around you on their own. The other thing that the app allows you to do if you've got tinnitus features enabled is to adjust those. And also if you're streaming, you can change the balance between the sound coming through the microphones on the hearing aid and via your streaming device. One great feature that I've really taken advantage of over the last few years is remote support, which is done via the MyPhonak app. This allows me to adjust the settings on your hearing aid from the clinic whilst you're sat at home. Yep, you heard me right, whilst you're sat at home. You can be sat in the comfort of your living room and me in the clinic and I can adjust your hearing aids without you even having to come in the practice to see me. I personally don't like to make remote changes too early in the fitting process as nothing beats having a patient sat in front of me to get those initial adjustments right. And it's also more likely early on that we'd need to look at making some physical changes whether that's the receiver wire length or the dome on the end of the hearing aid. There are also a few features that it's not possible to adjust remotely. However, for the most part, it's great to have this backup if the patient can't make it to the practice. During this process, you can even see your audiologist via a webcam. The only thing that I'm not keen on with remote adjustments is that the first thing that I would normally do if a patient walks into the clinic with any kind of problem whatsoever is examine the ears. And of course, I don't have that ability if I'm seeing somebody remotely, so I can't rule out any ear-related issues causing the need for any adjustments. Phonak have been great at recognizing where hearing aid technology alone will struggle to overcome hearing challenges, and as a result, have a range of accessories such as the TV connector, their Roger range such as the Roger On, Table Mic, Touchscreen Mic, Roger Select and Roger Let Loop. Historically, hearing aid manufacturers have needed an additional shoe to allow certain devices to stream from accessories. However, Phonak have found a very clever way to integrate this into the hearing aids themselves. And this can be programmed in clinic by your audiologist without the need for any additional elements having to be physically added to the hearing aids. 
It's been less than 12 months since Phonak released the Phonak Audeo Life, which was the world's first waterproof rechargeable hearing aid. Well, now we have the world's second waterproof rechargeable hearing aids, which is the last hearing aid that I showed you earlier out of the three models. So what makes this hearing aid so special? With the majority of hearing aids now, you'll find that they have an IP68 rating, which means that they can technically be submerged in a meter and a half of water for 30 minutes and they should still function afterwards. This isn't just a rating reserved for hearing aids. You'll find it in a lot of technology that you use on a daily basis. For example, even the cell phone that you're possibly watching me on right now. Phonak have taken their waterproof rating to the next level with their life model. They've added additional microphone protection. They've sealed the seams with silicon, coated the components with a paralene coating, which I'm actually told is the same protection system that NASA use on their spacecraft. They've removed the titanium pins holding in the receivers. And finally, they've redeveloped the charger, which I'm very pleased about for a few important reasons, which I'll come to shortly. They're not the first manufacturers to look at this, however, with ReSound doing something similar about 10 years ago when they used a nano coating on their hearing aids. However, it is the first time that it's been done with rechargeable hearing aids. Interestingly, I am often asked in clinic, but what about the receivers, Matthew? How can they be waterproof? As, of course, they have to allow sound to travel through them, which is a great question, in fact. When Phonak performed all of the testing necessary to be able to apply a waterproof rating on their life hearing aids, they really put their hearing aids through their paces. This robustness testing included a simulated sweat test representing two workouts a week for a five-year period, a seawater test, a salt water test, a chlorinated water test simulating two swims per week over a five-year period as well, and of course, fresh water testing, performed in a pressurized container, testing down to a depth of 50 centimeters 520 times. I mean, they've really put these hearing aids through their paces. Now, all of these tests were performed with the receivers in place. In reality, the end of the receivers are pretty much protected from any water as they sit deep inside the ear canal. So realistically, water just doesn't get to the open end of the receiver at all, as it's buried deep within your ear canal. For example, when it rains, it hits the device and not the receiver. If you sweat, if there's spray from a hose, or even if you dunk your head underwater, the water isn't likely to go into your ear canal, past the receiver, then past the dome, the filter, and into the aperture itself. Now, in all honesty, if something does happen to go wrong with a hearing aid, it is still likely to be the receiver. And that's what I experience with every single hearing aid manufacturer out there. The positive, however, is that if the receiver goes wrong, it is something that we can change on the spot in clinic, which does mean that your hearing aid wouldn't need to go back to the manufacturer for repair. Technically, this hearing aid is also suitable with the new Phonak ActiveVent receivers, which are Phonak's clever mechanical blend between open and closed fittings. However, I happen to know that they haven't performed any of those simulations using the active vent receiver. And due to the nature in terms of how they work, I personally think that they would be way more likely to break down than when a standard receiver is used. Now, despite saying all of this, I'm still not suggesting to any of my patients that this is a hearing aid they should be wearing underwater. Yes, it would be advantageous for a kid taking swimming lessons so they could hear the teacher. And yes, it would be great if you could wear it in the sea with your family on holiday while splashing around but I would be amazed if it stays in place if you go underwater. And personally, I wouldn't want to be the one diving down to the bottom of the sea searching for it. In reality, I just think that the point of the life hearing aid is to make you more comfortable when you're caught in the rain, by the pool, and really to just give you a device that you can have confidence in and that it isn't gonna break down like we've seen with previous hearing aid technology in the past. As I mentioned earlier, all of the Lumity family are rechargeable using the industry standard lithium ion battery technology. This means that for a three hour charge, you should get a full day of battery life. There's clever circuitry in place, meaning that the hearing aids can be left on charge overnight and it shouldn't cause them any damage. The battery life is reduced with more streaming. However, even with constant streaming throughout the day, the battery should still last for a full waking day. I haven't had anybody come back to me in the clinic yet complaining that the battery's dying before the end of the day is out. The other great thing is if you forget to charge them one night, you can still put them in the charger for a 30 minute turbo blast whilst getting ready in the morning and it will give you six hours of charge to work with. 
The charger from the Life model is an induction charger, similar to those that we see from the likes of Widex, Resound, and Oticon, meaning that there are no external contacts that need to align with a contact on the charging unit. They've done this to ensure that it's fully watertight and maintain its waterproof rating. The other huge plus with this new charging unit is that it stores up to three full charges with the built-in battery. So your hearing aids can be charged on the go without needing to always be plugged into the mains. This is great for if you go camping for the weekend or traveling when you may not have easy access to a power source. Saying all of this, I'm still a little disappointed that Phonak haven't released a disposable battery version. Despite the fact that most of my patients opt for rechargeable hearing aids nowadays for the convenience, there are still the odd instances where it's the right thing for the right person sat in front of me and disposable batteries would better suit somebody's lifestyle. It's really annoying to not have that option without having to look at old Phonak technology. Sadly, none of these three new hearing aids in the Lumity family are cross compatible. That's not to say that they won't be in the future and I'm sure that this will come at some point down the line, but due to the lesser demand for cross systems, Phonak have historically delayed the release of cross systems after the initial launch date of their hearing aids. For those of you unfamiliar with a cross system, they're used for managing single-sided deafness. A cross system in simple terms is a transmitter which would sit onto an ear that doesn't function well enough to work with a hearing aid. It then sends that signal to an ear that's working better on the other side and therefore gives the hearing aid user access to any sound hitting the dead ear. If you want to stick with a Phonak hearing aid and need a cross system, then you'll need to look into the Paradise family. If you're not familiar with a telecoil, then I would definitely check out this video covering the advantages of having a telecoil built into your hearing aids. The video even includes sound files and gives you a real flavor of the benefit that you can expect from using a telecoil and loop system. If your hearing aid does have a telecoil built in, then it allows you to connect wirelessly to a microphone set at a distance, and you should be able to hear the person speaking into that microphone just as if you were sat next to them. You must have seen this sign at various places in the past, letting you know exactly when to activate the T setting on your hearing aids, which stands for telecoil, and it can make a huge difference hearing at a distance in the likes of a lecture, church, or even the theatre. Looking back at the original models of hearing aids that I showed you at the beginning of today, the LRT is the only one that has the telecoil built in. I am a huge fan of telecoils, so if you can forgo the waterproof version, then I would definitely recommend going for the LRT. Active Vent technology is unique to Phonak and was first released in the summer of 2021. Believe it or not, the ends of your hearing aids are incredibly important, not just from a comfort perspective, but they also have a significant impact on how your hearing aids sound. They allow us to divert more or less sound naturally down the ear canal or on the contrary via the hearing aids. This can change how your own voice sounds, how much clarity we give to you, how well you cope in noise, and even how music sounds when it's streamed from your cell phone. There are both positives and negatives to having your ear more closed or more open, and sometimes we just want to do both at the same time with the patient, which, until ActiveVent was released, we just weren't able to do so. ActiveVent will work with any of the Audio Lumity hearing aids, with two options being available. Firstly, a generic tip, and secondly, a custom-made version, which would require an impression to be taken of your ear for it to be produced, and allows us to provide both an open and closed vent simultaneously. This automatically switches to closed in noise and allows more sound to be channeled and cleaned via the hearing aid, but when in quiet would remain open to allow a more natural sound to travel through your ear canal. The same thing goes for music and streaming. When you're streaming, the active vent would be closed, blocking in the sound and enhancing music, giving it a greater fullness and richness when being streamed from your cell phone. So guys, I hope that you found this video useful. As you can see, there are a range of improvements over and above the Ordeo Paradise family. And the patients that I've fitted so far have reported better hearing in background noise over and above their experiences with the Phonak Paradise family. If you found this video useful, then make sure you press like so it reaches more people. If you have any questions or comments, then please drop them beneath this video and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.